It's been a labor of love from part one to part two and three. And um, we're just so very proud of everything that Jim has been able to put together. And he weaved a beautiful story uh, that we just sunk our teeth in and we just had a lot of fun. And I feel like the weight is finally coming to, to a culmination and we're gonna get to share something that we enjoyed so much doing. Our memories of making this movie together are really fresh because they involve being underwater and all kinds of physical prowess, especially on the part of Zoe, who is such an amazing warrior still, even more so in this, uh, in this new one. Um, but I think it's so exciting. You know, there was a, such a hush and a scream at the same time, kind of, if that's possible, watching the 13 minutes. And for us, you know, I hadn't seen a lot of it, most of it, all of it. And uh, I think we were kind of breathless afterward because we couldn't believe what we saw. Yeah, we're still processing. <laughs> yeah. It feels really special. Um, it, we, we believe in this story so much. We believe in the work that Jim, you know, created for us all. And this was, like I said before, it was a labor of love. So finally being able to share it, it feels really good. Oh, I'm, I'm still processing it, but my hopes for this uh, new adventure of Avatar is that we get to give back the first fans, you know, we get to deliver something really special that they can continue um, loving. And for our new fans, we just, we hope that they are, you know, smitten by this sensory adventure that we're going to give them. Jim showed quite a bit of underwater stuff. Uh, with the kids and um, it's so magical and of course we were in a tank where there's none of that world you have to make it all up in your head and the creatures swimming by and everything I mean it's just wondrous what he's been able to accomplish and I, honestly I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in any movie or certainly in any theater and uh, I, I think it's just breathtaking